So at uh, RoboGames, I had my 30-pound robot there, Disinformation. Um, you may have seen in the earlier video that we posted that its last match turned into a bit of a fire, and it uh, burnt itself to the ground. Oh, 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 oh. Now we know why. Alright, clear the way folks, clear the way! Clear the way, folks! Had a light on it so like it was like it was still powering up, but it looks like it's on. event we basically let it sit outside in the air and kind of air out for a bit and we were gonna bring it in but it was still stinking pretty bad so I packed it up with all of its stuff in its case and the cool thing about these pelican cases is it's kind of sealed it's airtight so uh, we're uh, you know month past Robo games now and my smelly, stinky friend has been sealed up in this case since then, so let's, uh, let's pull the robot out and let's uh, see what the post-fire damage looked like and let's see how bad it reeks. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get here. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. <laughs> You didn't believe me, did you? You have a mask on. I don't. <laughs> that doesn't seem fair. Gosh, that is right. Okay. So here we are. We've let it sort of air out for a little bit and kind of looking around. Obvious the damage from the fire is pretty pronounced. So you can see where battery pack was that burnt out and how everything in here has been overheated i mean huh, all the oil's been cooked off the chain is how hot it got in here i swear to god this thing just doesn't want to die This, this is a tough bot. I mean, the, the, this little guy would. If I was at the event, I literally could have pulled the burnt goo, put another battery in it, and put it back in the arena and fought again. So, for whatever reason, this robot just simply refuses to die. Um, this information was pretty much, in my view, damaged beyond running again before RoboGames. It had a couple of big cuts that were structural all the way down through the support to the weapon. Um, and so in taking it there, I was assuming that it was going to go have a match or two, just get destroyed, annihilated, and that was going to be the end of it. Um, at the event, it did fairly well. It uh, 
If I'd have won that last match instead of losing it, I think I would have taken third place. So it actually performed fairly well. Um, but so we got it back. We had that just massive fire, big issues all the way down, burnt all the way to the ground. The previous video shows some of the details on that. And we can see the crispy innards of this robot that it got torched really good from that battery melting down. Um, one of the things I like to do design-wise is try to isolate where the battery is away from as much of the other stuff as I can. And although it's hard in a small robot to do that, at least I had, you know, there was the, the, the titanium shell across the back there. In this case here is a fiberglass piece between it and the, and the motors and whatnot. And so this is where the battery was where it, it burnt. And it burnt hot. It burnt bad. In fact, it burnt hot enough. You can see inside the robot here where it sort of just burnt the, the actual oil off the chain. It got so hot in here. And so this is the first time I've taken it apart since the event. I got the idea, well, let's just take a look and see if any of the stuff in here um, is salvageable. And weirdly, connector for the battery is still here. We put a battery on it, and everything works. Right now, as burnt as this crappy robot is, if I put a charged battery on it, I could literally throw it in the arena and fight another match. So I guess it's a testament to how tough the thing was originally, um, but it all still functions. Everything here still works. So what does that mean for poor disinformation down the road? Um, obviously, as it sits right now, none of this is going to get reused. I mean, the electronics that I can salvage, I'll go ahead and pull that stuff back out. Um, probably reuse the gearboxes and replace all the motors and whatnot. I would like to rebuild this again. I would like to rebuild this with a brand new frame, see if I can shrink things down. Um, I think I think there's more potential for this. I think this one actually has a shot at, you know, maybe winning a tournament or two. So down the road, that's my plan. My plan is essentially to go ahead and rebuild it. And obviously the the choices that I've used to build it in the first place were good ones because it just wants to keep running. So uh, you'll see this information again for sure. It's, it's coming back.